The first thing that I'm going to show you for this week is actually my new little combo that I've just uh, purchased for myself. And I like to try different things, I like to try new things out. So I'm going to give one of these new little Infeet Z Baitcaster outfits a shot. I've paired it up with a Daiwa Tatula. This is a 70 size, if you can see that there, 70, and it's a 7.1 ratio. But how killer does this thing look? It's, it's, it's super lightweight. Um, feels really nice in the hand and I'm quite excited to really go out and have a crack with this. I'm, you know, I'm keen to try some new gear out and try some new techniques out and I know this bait, light tackle bait caster stuff is getting quite popular over east so I'm going to give it a shot for myself. So I've spooled it up with four pound fluorocarbon straight through. I plan on uh, using this for throwing hard bodies, maybe crabs and, and um, muscles or uh, muscle vibes up against the pylons but yeah I've, I've never really played too much with bait caster gear so i think this this is going to be a sweet little outfit so anyway that's my new little combo that i'm going to be uh given a crack you'll be able to see some upcoming videos i'm sure hopefully of me catching something with it and not getting birds nests but anyway let's get straight into the video so the first thing we're going to look straight into is these bait casters that I was talking about. Now, we've just received them in the Infeet range. We've received the Z models and the EX models. So these ones here that I'm showing you are the, are the EX models, actually. Um, so they have the custom air sensor reel seats, which look absolutely awesome. And they also feature AGS guides on them. So while well, the tip guides are AGS, so if you can see that there, it's a carbon guide which makes the rod tip extremely lightweight it's very sensitive you feel absolutely everything through the rod blank um, on the base of the the rod they just have standard micro stainless guides they might actually be titanium not 100 percent sure i have to look that up but they got the micro guides and yeah like i said you've got your custom air sensor reel seat which matches really nice with those small tatula bait casters um, but so we've just received these at both stores. If you want to get into the light tackle bait cast fishing, we've got a couple of options. We do have the Z models as well. I'll just show you. And we've got the fast and the slow action. The white is the slow action and the red models are the fast actions. So they've just landed and they're in store now. Now, while we're on rods, we're going to have a quick look at the all new Zanac. Uh, Muthos Sonio 93M. So this is a brand new model that we've just received from Sinac and I gotta say they really are, it, it, it's a epic rod. It's gonna suit a lot of our fishing on the west coast here really well. Um, big tailor fishing up north in Exmouth from the shore for queenfish, trevallies, anything where you're gonna just need a medium rod that's you know nine foot three long can cast it can cast up to a hundred grams so it's a, a pretty decent weight but the the ideal weight rating on this rod they rate it 10 to 70 grams but this thing here it's going to match really well for running you know p3 and p4 lines with an 8000 size reel but the finish on it is just this video is really not going to do it justice but the finish on it is just it's just superb. Um, like all Zanac rods, they just, they really know how to build a rod and build it really well. So these have landed, both stores have them in stock. Um, there is limited, limited stock of them, but if you're looking for a high-end spinning rod, then this is definitely one to check out. It does have the RG guide system, so there's additional guides, and they also have a guide very close to the tip, which you can see here, and that's to eliminate any wind knots. But all new Zanac 93M Sonio, that's in store now. Come and check it out. Be quick if you want one. Now, moving on from the rods, we're gonna look at reels. And the first reel that we're gonna look at is one we've been waiting for for a little bit. And I'm, I'm actually a little bit excited about these because I reckon they look pretty cool. But it's the all new Daiwa Infeet reels. Now, these are only available in a 2000S and a 2500S. And they're designed to go with their Infeet range of rods. They are lightweight, small brim, light tackle trout whatever you want to use them for but 
extremely well priced. They only come they only come in at two twenty nine for either model. Um, they feature mag seal. They got a one piece bail. They're an LT body, so light and tough body. They have a nice bail arm. You know, for brim fishing um, and any light tackle fishing, these things they really are gonna. You know, they're gonna be a really good value for money reel at two twenty nine. So new in feet reels, they've just landed. So next up on the reels, and one that we've been waiting for, for <laughs> it seems like forever, um, the first batch that we got in sold out almost instantaneously, but we do have another batch that's just arrived. We haven't got a lot of them, but it's the Daiwa IC300. Now, this little beauty is an epic little light tackle jigging reel. You can fish up to P3 line on it, and this thing is a beast. So it's got a little light line counter on it. Which, oh, there it is. So, there we go. So, as the line comes off the reel, oh, that way, you can see it counts the line off the reel and lets you know how much line you've, you, well, is out. So, for jigging in a certain depth of water, if you see fish at a certain, certain um, level in the water column, you can wind that line back up and you know, jig effectively in that, that um, area. But they're just a really epic little bait caster. Um, great for light tackle jigging. The finish on them is absolutely outstanding. You know, again, I don't know if the camera does it justice, but you've got the big polished aluminium knob. Everything's just machined to perfection and they fit perfectly in your hand. Match them on a nice light jigging rod and you've got an epic little combo. But the Daiwa IC300, they're back in stock. So if you want to get one, Get onto tacklewest.com.au and you can order one there or you can come in store. We'll pair it up with a nice rod. But check them out, guys. I see 300. Okay, so up next, we're going to take a look at lures and we're going to particularly be talking about brim lures because, again, we've had a whole heap of new ones arrive and there's some really nice looking ones that have just come in. And I've got to say, I think I'm going to have to add some of these to my box as well. And it's the all new Daiwa um, Sazanami. Sazanami? Yeah, that, I think that's how they say it. But this is a 60 mil jerk bait. And these look, I'll tell you what, the finish, the, the, the color range, the finish on them looks insane. So let me set this camera up. So I'm not gonna run you through every single um, color of the range because there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten. I'm gonna give you a look at my favorite five. So my favorite five, I don't know. Um, so let's start off by looking at this one. And I'll tell you what, that is a really epic bait fish looking pattern. Um, this will just be great for Taylor, but this, it, your brim, I'm sure they're gonna smash this. So that's number one. Number two is the Wakasaki or Wakasagi or whatever they call it. Um, but that one there, you got a nice bait fish profile again, but you have that really nice purpley cloudy color on the back. I really do like that color. It's quite a nice uh, natural pattern. Um, this one, I think you can't go wrong. You're gonna have to have one of these in your tackle box. And this is their weedy Suji color. And look at that. That I reckon this is probably the pick of the bunch. Um, and what these lures do feature as well is a sliding weight system. So you can see this system in the lure, moving like that. So when you cast, that weight's gonna go to the back of the lure, gives you the, the best casting distance that you can get with this type of lure. And as that hits the water, it'll come back to the front of the lure and it'll help the lure swim. Now, these also suspend as well. So the idea of this with this lure is you can cast it long distance, twitch it along the flats, let it suspend. And um, yeah, you know, just catch plenty of fish. But that's the weedy Suji color. Really like that one. This one here, I believe this is the, I'm gonna just tell you the name because this one's pretty good as well. Um, the Ghost AU. Now, again, a kind of translucent color. I do like the little bit of orange on the on the head of the lure there that makes orange on the, on the front of a lure like this. When a fish is, or a bait fish is in distress, they flare their gills a bit um, and it's like a, it's like a reaction for a predatory fish to attack. So I do like that kind of little coloring on the on the chin of the lure there. But that's Ghost AU. Again, you can see that weight moving. Really nice looking color. And then the final one that I'll show you is, um, this one's called the Adele Gudgeon. And this is gonna be a really good one when it's a bit sunny and you need a bit of reflection. But look at that color there. 
in the sun, this is really going to give you a good reflection. Nice black eye. You got the black belly, and yeah, just a really nice goldy, natural kind of color. This will um, this will work really well on a on a bright sunny day. But anyway, guys, that's the all new Daiwa lures that have just come out. The Sazanami. Yep, I think that's how you say it. Um, it's a 60 mil suspending lure jerk bait dives down to about a meter i think it's a meter this is going to be a nice new one to try out we've got them at both stores so or, or you could order them online and get them shipped direct to you so while we're in the brim section at beckenham i just thought i'd give you a, a quick look at it again because every time i'm doing a video this section just continues to get bigger and bigger and we really have i think we've got a really good range of gear here now and we're still adding to it slowly slowly running out of room but i'll give you a quick look and you can see just how many lures that we actually have here. There's stacks of lures. Um, one thing with us, we try to put the full color ranges of lures in. So, you know, uh, Daiwa lures, zip baits, whatever it is, we just tend to go the full range. So you have a really good selection of lures for you guys to, to pick. But anyway, we'll move on to here. We've got pro lure. We've got a heap of whiting lures here, um, soft plastics. Okay, we've got the clone prawns, there's the brawler baits, the brim prawns, a few random bits and pieces. And then you'll notice that the store's a little bit different, okay, at the moment, because we've had a really good uh, shuffle around and we've actually tidied up the shop a lot. So it's a, if you haven't been into the Beckenham store for a while, pop in because it is, um, it's a lot more open and the store is just way better now. So um, anyway, we've got a heap of soft plastics here. There's all the brim soft plastics and then we've got all our other, other normal plastics. But over here, we've added to the brim section just this little gondola here, but we, um, we have all the terminal that you would need, all the G heads that you would need. There's a good selection there. And we've got a range of different leaders um, you can pick whatever brand you want. We've got spinning fluoro. We also have some other high class braids. So, you know, you got your Sunline, you got your Varivas. Um, over here, we still have a stack more other braids. But anyway, that's a bit of, bit of a look at our new little brim section. And we also, while, while we're over here, we also have a whole heap more salty crew. Um, actually in transit to us at the moment, but we have a lot here to choose from. And yeah, we'll, uh, this is all going to be full. In the next kind of two weeks, this whole section is going to be bursting with clothing. So plenty there for you guys to choose from. Anyway, while I'm still giving you the tour, I might just give you, I think in the last video that I uploaded at this store, I, I can't even remember, but I'm pretty sure I gave you a bit of a look at the um, expansion that we're doing or the renovation that we're doing. And we're pretty much complete. The only thing that we're waiting for is just some signage, but it's really turned out great and it's made the store look a hell of a lot nicer and a lot, a lot neater. And that's why we were able to move all that stuff from up the front. But take a look at our new Yeti section. So there's gonna be a big Yeti sign going up here, but take a look at this, cause we have a stack of Yeti here and I think it's displayed really well. You know, look at our nice tiles that we got there, but check it out. There is an absolute pile of Yeti here. We have pretty much everything, everything that Yeti do, we pretty much have it. And we do have a lot of stock, so we're all ready for Christmas. We've got lunch boxes, dog bowls, ice. We've got all the different tundras, the panga backpacks. We've got bloody Yeti chairs, we've got Yeti hats. So. This is what this section's turned out like. It's been a bit of a, a bit of a, um, it's been a bit of a wait, but it's finally done. And yeah, look at that. It look, it was really made the store look good. So anyway, guys, that's our new section down the back at Beckenham store. Hope you like it. <laughs> now on the terminal side, two things that we've had restocked and they're not super, well, super exciting, but they're just pre-made rigs and but they're, they're very popular pre-made rigs and they take the hassle out of it and we actually get them made locally. They're very good quality, but Taylor and Salmon rigs. Now these are made to our specifications with good quality 
uh, ganged hooks, you got good quality nylon, three-way swivel, but just a just a decent tailor rig. They've all been restocked, and the most popular one is the drone rig. So if you if you can't be bothered making up your own rigs, then honestly these things they're really good quality rigs that are specifically made for drone fishing to our, our specifications. Um, but they're all back in stock. So these are really popular. Every time we, we do a batch of these, they sell out really quick. So maybe order them online or come into the store and grab them. But we do have a fair few at the moment. But that's a double dropper rig. Okay, if you can see it there with snells, you've got your drone loop on it there. You've got your sinker loop on it there. It's ready to go. Good quality knots. But that's our Angler Demersal drone rigs. They're back in stock. Almost forgot, but these are also back in stock too. So that's the Angler wire balloon rigs. We have these in a 8 size, and I believe we also do these in a 10 size. They're both 8 but but um, balloon rigs anyway, they're back in stock, really good quality. Um, you can order them online as well. So they are five foot of 150 pound leader um, wire, sorry, um, ready for some big Mackies or tuna or whatever, wahoo off the rocks, but anyway, Angler pre-made rigs, back in stock. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this week. Hope you're able to get out for a fish soon. We're, we're hope, hoping that this weather clears up and we, we start to get some real good summer weather coming. Um, one thing I'll mention as well, I did see this week that the fads have gone out. So give that another couple of weeks, I reckon, and there should be, well, fingers crossed, there should be some good dolphin fish action. Um, if you wanna learn any info or you want any tips or anything like that, pop in store, come and see us. I can run you through all the gear that you'll need. Um, to get set up and go and catch some good dolphin fish for yourself. But anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.